Hi, I'm Mara, and I want to show you today how to do manual lymphatic drainage for yourself. We're going to use the modern MLD method by Robin Bjork today. So we are going to start at our necks, and this is we're going over how to do manual lymph drainage when you have arm lymphedema. So we'll have my right arm be my arm with lymphedema today. We start at the neck because that's the final destination. We want to sort of clear the trunk, clear the body, make room for the swelling, and then clear the arm from there. So we've got our collarbone right about here. Just above the collarbone is this kind of soft and tender hollow spot. That's the spot we're gonna start with. I'm gonna use the flats of my fingers, not the pokey parts. Flats of my fingers, two or three fingers, and I always go across my neck because this is really uncomfortable. So I'm going across my neck and just kind of massage like five to seven times, just kind of bringing the skin, stretching the skin in towards the center, in towards the center, in towards the center. And I do the same thing on the other side, using two or three fingers, finding my collarbone right here and being above it. I'm on the flat part of my shoulder, not on the neck, right in the corner. One, two, three, four, five. And then something else we wanna make sure we do right at the beginning is deep abdominal breathing. Just really deep, relaxing breathing. We can do the neck first or the breathing first, doesn't really matter. So for that, I'm just gonna lay back. I like to put my hands on my lower belly so I can feel it rise as I breathe in and fall. I want to fill up my whole body with air. And as I exhale, giving it a little bit of encouragement. Breathing in, filling my whole belly expand, breathing out, encouraging it. And I do that five or 10 times too. So now I've got my neck and I've got my abdomen. Next thing I'm gonna do is clear out lymph nodes. So we've got the lymph nodes here in our armpit. We also have lymph nodes that we can send a detour of extra fluid over to. We've got lymph nodes in our other arm and in our groin. So I am going to grab myself a foam ball. We can use a squishy foam ball. We can use a rolled up bandage. We can use a rolled up kitchen towel. We're gonna tuck that ball into our armpit as deep as it goes, hold it in place with the arm, and just kind of massage the inside of my armpit by working my shoulder around. Again, that five to seven times. Do the same thing in my other armpit. Going five to seven times. Feeling that massage going all on the inside of my armpit. And I want to get my lymph nodes, which are right here, right at that bikini line, in that kind of hollow spot in the thigh. Get my belly out of the way, get my thigh out of the way, tuck it in, and I can kind of bring my knee in and together. It's probably easier if I'm lying back. If I can't get it, I can try bending forward into it. And if I can't make it work with the ball or the foam roll, I can just use my hand five to seven times. Now what I want to do is establish some detours. I talk a lot about how the lip flow of lymph fluid is like the flow of traffic. And the standard traffic would be that fluid from our arm comes to our armpit, through the lymph nodes in the armpit, abdomen to the neck, and then recirculates around. But there's a detour across our chest, and there's a detour down our side to the lymph node over here. So I'm gonna treat my arm like it's a windshield wiper and just squeegee that fluid across, across. This is much better done when I don't have any jewelry in the way and when I don't even have any clothes or bras in the way. But for the video, we're just gonna do this over clothing. Doing that four or five times, bringing it down to that spot we massage, two, three. You can also use the other arm if that's easier, whatever arm makes it easier to do. So now I've cleared out my trunk, now I go to the arm. And for this, I can just do more of that squeegeeing. 
I want to clear out some space and then move it along. We were talking about traffic jam. If there's a traffic jam, I don't start at the back of the traffic jam and tell those cars to drive somewhere. I get folks out of the way first and then I get the fluid moving from there. So I start at the upper arm, I can do the inner elbow, and I can do that the same way where I tuck and squish. Four, five, get some more squeegeeing up my arm, making sure I'm getting the front and the back, doing the same thing at my hand and my fingers, and then going all the way up. Now there's another technique I want to show you, and this is the tricksy one. This is called circular strokes. So what we do for circular strokes is, and we use this in any area where there's a lot of thickness or where there's a lot of real swelling where you can feel it, it's full, it's harder. We put our hand in, that, in a spot, don't slap it, just place, and I am going to move the skin up, stretching the skin up and releasing it, stretching the skin up and releasing it stretching the skin up and releasing it. My thumb's not doing anything. I'm not squeezing. I'm not pushing. I'm not poking. Just placing my nice relaxed hand in there. Move the skin and down. Now you notice I've got a freckle right here. I'm not moving my hand away from the freckle. I'm taking that freckle with me. I'm moving the skin with me. Moving the skin with me. So I sort of curl it up and up, stretch the skin up and up, and then release the tension, follow it back. Stretch the skin up, release the tension, follow it back. And I, after I've done that maybe five times in one spot, it'll probably get a little softer and I can pick a new spot. You'll also notice that different parts of your arm have different amounts of stretchiness. I'm gonna be able to get a lot of stretch in the back of my upper arm, because the backs of upper arms are really stretchy skin. I'm not gonna get very far at my wrist. And that's okay, you just take the skin as far as it goes. So once you've done those circular strokes anywhere that you have congestion in your arm, or in your breast if that's where you have congestion, then we do those long strokes up the whole arm, we're going to repeat the lymph nodes in our armpit, in our opposite shoulder, in our groin. We're going to repeat those detours, repeat those. And you notice I'm just using whatever part of my hand feels comfortable. Repeat my collarbones. And then give myself a high five, because I did it.